Alan here for Old English Outfitters. So we have noticed a bit of a trend lately, and particularly it revolves around new shooters. Now, new shooters doesn't necessarily mean young people, okay? You can be a new shooter and still be somewhat old. But new shooters have a little bit of a misconception about one of our oldest cartridges. It's called the 22. We have a lot of people coming in looking for 22s because, well, it's the most popular cartridge in the world, on the planet. Everybody uses 22. It's made in bigger numbers than anything else, used in a wide variety of weapons, rifles, pistols, revolvers, all sorts of things. It has huge advantages. It's relatively quiet. Pretty good cartridge, does a pretty good job for the missions it's intended for. And it's uh, inexpensive compared to most other things. It's a rimfire cartridge. So as we talked in one of our previous segments, it's not something that you want to take a weapon in that chamber and dry fire it very much. Specific manufacturers say you can, but some say you can. It's usually if you're unsure about it, don't do it because of how that's constructed. <clears throat> but we have a lot of people, new shooters mostly, who come in and they are asking for 22 long because they have a pistol, rifle, revolver chambered in 22 long rifle, but they're asking for 22 long. And there is a big difference between those two cartridges. So we thought it might be kind of interesting and informative to take a look at the 22 cartridges. Now this is not all inclusive. There's one or two strays out there that we're not gonna talk about, but there you don't see those hardly very often at all. But the ones that I have in front of me here are the ones that we're going to talk about. It kind of goes back to the beginning history of it. And we're going to flesh out the difference between 22 long and 22 long rifle. Now, one of the reasons this is important is because if you have a pistol or a rifle that are semi-automatic and you buy 22 longs, they are not going to work in that gun. They might look like they'll work, but they won't because of the differences between the cartridge. And we, for a while now, have had 22 long in CCI's brand for sale. People buy it, and then they end up coming right back when they find out it doesn't work. So we're going to try to head you off a little bit so that doesn't happen. So in front of me here, I have five 22 caliber cartridges. And it's very interesting because this one right here on this end, this is the grandfather of the whole bunch. Today, we call it the Flaubert. F-L-O-B-E-R-T, French word, the Flaubert. It used to be called and still is called to some degree 22 BB cap. This thing is where all the rest of these kind of came from. It is not interchangeable with them. And you kind of, if you're going to buy this, you've got an old, old, old gun that's chambered for it. You're not going to use it in most things. But I point it out because it's kind of where the rest of these came from. How old is this cartridge? You ready for this? 1854. 1854 over in Europe was where this cartridge was designed. And it's not much more than a, a, a muzzleloader percussion cap with a projectile attached to it. It's not much more than that. Very low powered, used for target shooting and uh, games playing, actually. They would use little target games. They'd have little targets and they'd just shoot at them for score. The 22 BB cap, very interesting old round. Next to it is the 22 short. Now, the 22 short's a lot newer, right? Yeah, not really. 1857 was when the 22 short was designed. 1857, before the United States Civil War. 1857. It was the first metallic cartridge that was chambered in a so-called modern firearm. Smith & Wesson built a revolver for it. It took the idea of the BB cap, put a longer case on it, trimmed it up a little bit, and put an actual usable projectile on it, about a 29 grain bullet. Today, you can get 22 short in both standard and high velocity configurations. There used to be, and if you're old enough to remember this, you're dating yourself just a little bit, but there used to be, you could go to the county fairs and you could go to shooting galleries and the shooting galleries used 22 shorts. They had guns that were chambered specifically for them, sometimes semi-automatic guns chambered specifically for the 22 short that you could target shoot with. Of course, that was in the days before we got paranoid and started being afraid of everything that we see, right? The 22 short. Next to it over here, we have the 22 long, the one that's kind of caused a little bit of confusion these days. 
The 22 long, well, that's a much newer cartridge, right? Not really. 1871 was when the 22 long was designed. 1871. Not too much longer after 1857. It built upon the same idea. We made the casing longer so we could put more powder in it. We took a very similar bullet, essentially the same bullet the 22 short used, a, a 29 grain bullet, relatively lightweight slug. But we put a bigger case on it, we put more powder behind it, we drove it faster. And it became very popular with small game hunters and, and, and target shooters and such. Works pretty good. The 22 long. Then we have next to it the one that we have most everything today chambered in. 22 long rifle. It does not have to be a rifle to shoot it. Most modern firearms in 22 caliber are chambered for the 22 long rifle. Progression of the same idea. We took the same case length, but we put a heavier bullet on it, put a little more power yet behind it, and we end up with the 22 long rifle. Probably named that to distinguish it from the long. The long rifle today is made in standard and high velocity and hyper velocity configurations. If you have a semi automatic weapon, pistol or rifle, 22 long rifle high velocity is what you need. Now, high velocity 22 long rifles, first of all, on the boxes of these things, usually they tell you about how fast they're going, what their velocity is, their starting velocities. Long rifle high velocity, to qualify as a high velocity, it's usually going to start around 1,200 feet per second and go up from there. There are some so-called hyper velocity rounds that'll truck out there at about 1,600 feet per second or thereabouts out of a rifle barrel. But long rifle high velocity for most semi-automatic things is what you need. Now, these three, short, long, long rifle, are somewhat interchangeable. If you have a revolver or a lever action rifle, you can probably shoot all three of those because you're providing the power to operate the gun. The cartridge power isn't doing it. When you actuate the lever or in a revolver, you, you cock the hammer, pull the trigger, whatever, you're manually operating the mechanism of the firearm. So you can shoot shorts, longs, long rifles. If you look at the side of some of the uh, barrels on some of the guns, Henry comes to mind because usually they kind of outline the lettering on them. You'll see it'll say SL or LR, short, long, or long rifle. And I've shot Henry lever actions loaded up with shorts. Works fine. Longs, works fine. Long rifles, works fine. Doesn't matter what the velocity is because you're providing the power to operate it. Semi-automatic, once again, just to recap, you need the long rifle and you need the high velocity. Now, are there exceptions? Sure there are. You're gonna find the occasional exception that will shoot a standard velocity 22 long rifle in a semi-automatic action and still do it reliably. If your gun does that, wonderful, fine, no problems, do it. If it doesn't, gotta find the high velocity stuff, okay? The three modern cartridges in the, the standard 22 range are the short, long, and long rifle. Over here, we have the 22 Magnum, actually the 22 Winchester Magnum, or WMR. That was this, the actual uh, designation of this cartridge. Sometimes the question comes up, can I shoot 22 long rifle in a 22 Magnum? And the answer is no, but the answer is also yes. And you say, what the heck does he mean by that? Well. You can shoot the projectiles through the same barrel. They're not exactly the same diameter. They're, the Magnum is just, just very slightly bigger, but it will still work okay through the same barrel. What you need though is a different chamber. So you have revolvers like the Heritage Series Rough Riders, like the Ruger Single Sixes that have two cylinders. The cylinder of course is where is the chamber on a revolver, right? So you have one cylinder that's set up for 22 long rifle chamber, one that's set up for 22 magnum chamber. The magnum cartridge is not just longer. It's marginally bigger in diameter. The whole thing is. 
So you've got to have a different chamber. If you shoot a long rifle in a magnum, number one, because that's a little larger chamber, firing pin may not reach the primer. Even if it does, the casing is going to expand and most likely jam up the works. Okay? So you cannot do that. Semi-automatic weapon chambered for 22 magnum is not going to shoot 22 long rifle. It just isn't. If you want to shoot both, you got to go to a revolver platform, something that has the capability of swapping the chamber, okay? All right, so, recap. Granddaddy, the 22 BB cap. The short, the long, the long rifle, and the 22 Magnum. Once again, if you're coming in with a modern firearm and it's semi-automatic, you're looking for long rifle, not long. If it's a revolver, no problem. We're a, will a bolt action shoot the shorts and the longs? Eh, maybe. This thing is short enough that through a bolt action, cycling the bolt, it may jam it up when you feed it. Probably for sure if it's coming out of a box type magazine. Maybe if it's coming out of a, a, a tube magazine, maybe it'll work. Longs usually do without too much trouble. So it's one of those things where you might just try in your particular gun, you're okay. You know, it's funny, sometimes things make a big circle, right? Over here, we have this really low-powered 22 that kind of started all this. Well, today we have things like that. This one's made by Aguila down in Mexico. It's called a 22 Colibri. Uh, 22 CB caps, you've heard of those, perhaps. Those are the same idea. So what somebody did was they took long rifle or long casing and put that really tiny projectile on it. These things very often have very little or no powder. Sometimes they just have priming compound. So you got a projectile that's traveling really slow, uh, in some cases as low as around 300 feet per second. Some of them are a little more robust. They might get you out to about 700 feet per second, uh, you know, like air gun velocities, right? So indoor target shooting, low report, no recoil to speak of whatsoever. But because you have this long casing, it might feed through some actions, obviously not semi-auto, Bolt action, maybe. Lever action, eh, maybe. Might try it. Little bitty short projectile sometimes that creates enough length problems to cause trouble. Single shots, no problem at all. Got to be a little careful with these in a rifle. They're traveling so slow that they may not get out the barrel. So you got to kind of watch that, okay? So the full circle of 22s. Now, like I said, there's one or two stray 22 caliber rounds that are out there. Specific guns use them, and it's rare for you to see them. And if you're a new shooter, you're probably not going to have any interest in them. If you're a new shooter, the two that are that you're interested in are the long and the long rifle, to a slightly lesser degree the short. But like I said, the long rifle is what most modern things are actually chambered for. Okay? So, hopefully that cleared it up a little bit and gave you a little history about where all this stuff came from. Uh, like we sometimes do as human beings. They took a basic idea and built upon it. Will it go further from that? Ah, who knows? They haven't really done it yet in, in 22 caliber projectiles, so we'll see. Okay, that's all I have for right now. Hopefully that cleared things up for you just a little bit and eliminates confusion and eliminates problems when you are looking for ammunition for your 22 and you're, you're, uh, you're confused about what you need. Okay? All right, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters.